Don't stop what you're doing, what you're doing to me. My angel from above, lying next to me. How did you know that I'd be the one? Been a long time coming, only just begun. Doing all the things that makes my heart sing. Keep doing what you're doing, you sex your thing.
clock crew, who are you? I'm Tinker. And I be the ODCMC from the clock crew. Who's this? And this is my flatmate, Molly. Molly, yeah. Cool flatmate to have, so stay tuned. Usually someone phones you up and says, Hi, clock. Well, hold on. What are you doing? Um, there's a premiere tonight. Would you like to come and cook a car for you? Yeah, it did occur like that one day. And um, But what happened? What happened? I don't know what happened. Uh, actually, we waited for this car, right? Yeah, we were dressed up to the nines, you yeah. know, diamantes, She, was, she was looking That's fantastic. It. I was looking rather gorgeous. I so, so myself at the time. And um, and then we were waiting for a long time for this vehicle to turn up. We were getting rather concerned and it wasn't happening. So, last result, we had to phone a car, a car or taxi or something, right? And, and we ordered a, an estate car or just a big car, you know? And so, this car turned up and um, and uh, all it just was like. It had four different colours. Each, yeah, it was, and the exhaust, Rusted. the exhaust was more or less dragging along the ground. There was of smoke coming out, making the smoke. There was one headlight that was functioning. <laughs> um, the guy, when we actually got in, there was wrappers all over the place, um, pieces of paper, crisp packets, the radio was terrible. falling out, and it was terrible. And we looked at each other, we looked at the cab driver, and I said to Bill, his cab, and he goes, where do you want to go? And so we just got in the car. And we were going to this uh, premiere, which is at the, um, where was it? Empire? Leicester Square. Leicester Square. And uh, everyone else got out of the car, yeah. uh, out of their cars, out of their long black limousines. We, we stopped and, uh, on we the asked, other side of the block. We, we asked the guy to drive around the corner so we could sneak out and we had to walk around the premiere. Right through, all, right, right through the middle right through of all these things. people waiting. So, it was quite sad, really, because you got uh, these other people that you know we should arrive with or, or even turn up with, or pulling up in their limousines and everything. So as we turned around the corner, we were just like, as we tried to make it look as if we just come out of a limo, when in actual fact we got out of a, uh, you know, a cab down the road. So that was quite an experience. Yes, we always argue. Yeah, we yes, we fight, but he won't admit it because I like to be with a few right-handers. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I mean, if you're working together for a long time, it's like, for example, we could be on the road, we could be spending five plus hours in the car and traveling up somewhere and like, she snores. She doesn't like to admit that, but she does, and myself, and... and I'll tell you why you think I snore, okay? Can you feel the car he vibrate? talks so much, okay? He know. talks so much in the car, I have to pretend I'm asleep so I don't have to answer him. That's why he thinks yeah, I snore. Yeah, okay, so you got that, and on top of that, and it's classic cases of women we're about to do performances and she doesn't want to do a move and I'm trying to say look why don't we just do this and she's not experimental like that as much as I like to think that she's a great person to work with. <laughs> 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 no. My first kiss I remember it was hideous I was only about eight and um, I went to my parents' house, uh, no, we went to my uncle's house and my cousin's work and my cousin was chasing me around the house, running after me, um, he was really like me, I was only really eight, and he was about, he was about six or something, and um, I remember everyone else had been loving in the air, so I was like, in the air, and I was really going on, no, 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 and then he cornered me on the stairs and just kissed me, and it was a real sweet that was my very first kiss. Um, after that, I don't remember. Oh yes, my other one, my, my first snore, was uh, on a chairlift, and the other boy on the school thing. Oh, it's horrible! Um, there you go. Top secret from the clock crew, her mother knitted her a five-star jumper, and she went to a five-star concert. And she claims to this day that Denise from Five Star pointed her finger at her in the back row with her Five Star jumper. And she, we met her a few months ago. She did. Mm -hmm. Like a right sound for the people at the party, so. So ultimately, we're talking about the Nipok album. Yeah, effectively. A uh, stomping kind of sound. You mix it together, you get some nice friends gathered around in an atmosphere, you combine it, stir up the ingredients. Sprinkle some of that excellent, a little dab of warmth, there it is. Nice little touch of flavouring. Oh, what a night. Clutch, just for you.